Why is this day important and why is it required to be celebrated? We all know that the blood, the sweat and the tears of the freedom fighters was rewarded with independence on the 15th August 1947. However, there was a need to have a constitution in place and therefore the drafting committee was constituted and on the 26th day of January 1950, the people of India were presented with a constitution and we today salute Dr. Ambedkar, who is considered to be the father of our constitution. What is the preamble of the constitution? The people of India resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic to secure to its citizen justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. It is 72 years and we are to ask ourselves the question, are we secure under constitution in terms of justice, equality, freedom, and fraternity? And the answer is before you. The four pillars of democracy, namely the legislature, the executive, the judiciary, and the print and electric, electronic media, had their checks and balances in place to ensure that the principles enshrined in our constitution are safeguarded. On this occasion, I would be failing in my duty if I do not thank the debt collectors, the Mamladars, the BDOs, the police force, the fire services, the freedom fighters, and the government staff, including the semi-government staff, for their tireless efforts and sacrifices that keeps the wheel of democracy in motion. And although very often we undermine their contribution, we have to be conscious of the fact that their contribution is immense. Now coming to our beautiful state, our government headed by Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savant and his cabinet have been tirelessly working and engaged in ensuring that the fruits of our independence and the benefits of our constitution percolate to the most needed segments of our society. We have nearly completed one year of disastrous pandemic that have paralyzed, that paralyzed the world and killed millions of people. But we have to be proud in the manner in which the government addressed the issue of pandemic and our recovery rate. I can proudly say has not only been one of the best in the country, but also one of the best in the world. Our health workers being the frontline warriors and all the medical and non-medical staff have sacrificed immensely to fight the pandemic. And today, while I salute the tricolor, I, on behalf of my people of Goa, salute the warriors. India, under the Prime Ministership of Honorable Narita Modi ji, has scaled great heights and today, the world is looking at us as an exemplary country and it is for the first time in the history of our nation that we are considered to be the pioneers in healthcare and vaccine production and we are proud maker of our own vaccines. Honorable Prime Minister has introduced Urban Nirbha Bharat policy for making India a bigger and more important part of the global economy. An Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savant has launched the action plan Atma Nirbha Bharat Swayamputna Goa which aims to upgrade and develop and keep Goa self-reliant. The state of Goa, in spite of the pandemic resulting in a setback to tourism and a complete occasion, cessation of mining operation has still remained afloat. Thanks to Honorable Chief Minister as well as the people of Goa. The recently concluded Zilla Panchayat elections has demonstrated the faith that our people have on the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister. It is unfortunate that the opponents seize every opportunity to misguide the people of Goa and in the process arrest all developments. Recently, the Captain of Ports Department of Goa has mooted a project for development of Aldana Coastal Passenger Jetties in Goa under Coastal Birth Scheme. However, the people have been misguided in believing that the said proposal to set up a jetty for coal transportation. But I'm happy that the people of Aldona constituency, who are the most intellectual people in the state, would not fall prey to such a false propaganda.